Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you and happy Wednesday. We've been talking about this all week now, all about this warm air that's coming into the forecast region, breezy and gusty winds up the Santa Cruz Mountains as well as areas up in the Diablo Range and northward. Well, we're here now and it's in effect. Right now we get into Monterey, taking a look at what's happening out there. 58 degrees, clear skies, and I mean it is gorgeous out there as far as clear skies are concerned. Yeah, a lot of stargazing out there. Winds are light currently on uh, over by the airport in Monterey, 75% relative humidity. Humidity, but that's going to change. We have drier air that's going to be pumping out of the north and northeast, working back to the forecast area. Widespread 50s, some mixed 60s in there as well. Carmel Valley is now reporting at 70 degrees. We know normally over the last few days they've been the warm spot lately, usually around 68 degrees, so a little bit warmer today. Red flag warnings in effect for most areas above 1,000 feet, but we're going to also see some of the valleys get affected as well with this. You'll see this in a second as we kind of move this through. You'll see the conditions coming in for the North Bay, the East Bay Hills, as well as the Santa Cruz Mountains. So we're Working down the Diablo spine, breezy and gusty winds will ensue. We'll also see those winds coming out of the north over the Santa Cruz Mountains, skirting along coastal San Mateo County from the coastline as well. Yeah, those winds will be gusting up to at least 30 to 40 miles per hour, sustained winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Look at them just kind of moving across the area this morning as we get into the afternoon as well and evening hours. We'll see the winds come back again as we go through Thursday in the evening and then begin to pick up yet again coming in from the east northeast, working across the Santa Cruz Mountains right over Corlitos and heading over to the uh, Pescadero area getting into the Santa Cruz Mountains, so swirling winds. We have fog and low cloud activity working along the coastline, as you can see, but it is getting mixed out because it's experiencing winds that are 20 miles per hour with gusts to 30 in the outer waters. We have dry conditions over California, and it's only going to get drier over the next few days, so bear that in mind. The heat will continue to pick up as we go through the next couple of days, working through the forecast area. You can see all that heat coming out of the desert southwest, and as it does, you're going to see the breezier winds continue to work, and it will be widespread for everyone, and that's going to work all the way down to Southern California. 80s and 90s are expected as you can see across the board. We'll see that in the Santa Cruz Mountains down to the low lying areas as you get into the valleys of Carmel, excuse me, all the way down from the uh, Santa Clara Valley into Hollister, 95 degrees, touching into Salinas at 90, 95 in King City, and back over to the Monterey Peninsula, widespread low to mid 80s. We get into your case BW eight day forecast, and it's not going to stop that autumn sizzle carries over into Friday. Tapers begin into or tapering into Saturday has begun to knock down temperatures by at least five to 10 degrees, but it's still above seasonal averages, even on the inland side, big numbers, big numbers, big numbers, and then well above seasonal averages. We're going to see at least up to 25 degrees above seasonal averages over the next couple of days. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It, yeah, a little bit. All right, Art, thanks. Okay.